Hi and welcome back. So a new study out of Spain has shown that introducing three lifestyle traits, I think there may be more, will have a positive effect on the diseases of aging. Enough waffling of me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study into longevity and lifestyle has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by Laura Williamson that looked into a preliminary study out of the Autonomous University of Madrid, which highlighted three lifestyle traits that, when implemented, have a significant impact on the risk of dying from cancer, cardiovascular disease and all-cause risk of death. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Many people talk about the heart health benefits of adopting a Mediterranean style diet with its focus on whole grains, fruits, vegetables, fish and of course healthy oils. But what about the rest of the Mediterranean lifestyle? Does the lifestyle also contribute to an individual's longevity? Having been lucky enough to visit a few of the 22 countries that skirt the Mediterranean Sea, I think it's misleading to assume there is one standard diet, and now according to this latest study, a standard lifestyle. The Mediterranean Sea stretches from Gibraltar in the west to Turkey in the east. That's around 4,000 kilometres. That's around 2,500 miles. When you compare this to the USA, that covers an area of land from Washington to California and from Texas to North Dakota. Do the people in California have exactly the same lifestyle as people say in Iowa? Ignoring the standard American diet of processed garbage, does everyone in the area have the same diet? Do the people of Idaho have daily access to freshly caught fish as they do on the coast of Georgia, for example? The author of the paper writes, short of lounging on the beaches of southern Italy or an island in Greece, could adopt in the focus on relaxed family dining, afternoon naps and strong communal bonds also improve health. Again, in my humble opinion, a misleading comment, highlighting small countries that one does associate with the Mediterranean, but intimating they're all the same. Take Algeria. It has a 1,200 kilometre Mediterranean coastline but stretches north to south, away from the Mediterranean, a total of 2,100 kilometres. That's about 1,300 miles. 85% of Algeria is covered by the Sahara Desert, so not really a good comparison when you think about the beaches of the Mediterranean. Try this next time. Someone blindly echoes that the Mediterranean diet is the healthiest. Ask them why. Have they investigated that claim critically, or do they just accept it? As many did, when the American Heart Association said vegetable oil was the healthiest way to cook. So getting back to the study, a group of researchers explored what would happen if middle-aged and older British adults who live about 1500 miles northwest of the Mediterranean Sea adopted its convivial way of life, not just the diet but also the physical activity and the social habits of their southern neighbours. They found that the more they adhered to this lifestyle, the lower their risk of dying from cancer, cardiovascular disease and other health conditions. Mercedes Sotos Prieto, the study's senior researcher and an assistant professor at the Autonomous University of Madrid, who is also an adjunct professor at the Harvard T. Chan School of Public Health in Boston, said the study suggests that adopting a Mediterranean lifestyle adapted to the local characteristics of non-Mediterranean populations is possible and can be part of a healthy lifestyle. Prior research has shown that the Mediterranean style eating pattern does help to protect against cardiovascular disease, lowering the risk for heart attacks and for strokes. In this latest study, the researchers analyzed the impact of other Mediterranean lifestyle factors, which included physical activity, rest, social habits and conviviality. There were 110,799 middle-aged and older adults who lived in England, Scotland and also Wales. The participants were drawn from the UK Biobank study. This is a multi-centre population-based study of people aged between 40 and 75 and they were all free of cancer and cardiovascular disease when they enrolled between 2009 and 2012 and they were followed until the year 2021. 
So a 25 point MedLife index was used to score their adherence to the Mediterranean lifestyle. The index was broken down into three blocks. Mediterranean food consumption, which was worth 12 points, which looked at what they ate. There was the Mediterranean dietary habits, which was worth seven points that looked into additional factors, such as whether they snacked, added salt to their meals or preferred whole grains to refined grains. And the final block was other lifestyle factors. This was worth six points. Let's now take a look at this one in a little bit more detail. The third and final block lifestyle factors included questions on the following conviviality. So whether the people ate meals with their family and with their friends, etc. Activity. So how often they engaged in physical activity with others, for example, by going on walks together, how often they met with families and friends and also sleep, how much sleep they got both at night and through napping during the day. And I'm wondering how many Brits between the age of 40 and 75 use fitness trackers or sleep monitors or as most people do, did they just guess how much sleep they got? Let's take a look at the results. After a median follow up time of 9.4 years, death records were used to compare death rates for cancer, cardiovascular disease and all other causes between those with higher and lower MedLife index scores. The analysis showed the more people adhered to the Mediterranean lifestyle, the lower their risk of dying from cancer or from any cause. Let's now take a look at the risk scores. Specifically compared to those with the lowest MedLife index score, adults with the highest adherence to the Mediterranean lifestyle had a 29% lower risk of dying from any cause and a 28% lower risk of dying from cancer. Higher scores for each of the three blocks of the MedLife index were associated with lower cancer and all cause death risks. Higher scores for the third block those related to lifestyle activities showed lower cardiovascular death risks. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Another epidemiological study that I don't think gives us any new information or sheds any light on a better diet or lifestyle with regard to living longer and getting less diseases of aging. I think that if you can eat a whole food diet that can include meat, fish, eggs and cheese, and you cut down on the processed food so it's zero or as small as possible, and you get regular exercise, and you get good sleep, and you reduce your stress by socialising, etc. I think you can live as long, regardless of where you live, as the people believe they do in the Mediterranean. And I think the people who live in the Mediterranean, who don't follow these particular uh, rules, which is to eat a whole food diet, reduce your stress, get as much exercise as possible, don't smoke cigarettes, etc., will probably contract the diseases of aging, even though they still live in the Mediterranean. Well, that's it for today. Let me know what you think of the study. Let me know what you think of the presentation. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.